There have been six massive extinctions in our planet's history. The first happened 440 million years ago when an extreme temperature drop froze the oceans and killed 86% of early life on Earth. Over the next 66 million years, the seas repopulated, but an enormous algae bloom sucked up all the oxygen in the ocean and suffocated over half of all aquatic life. 124 million years later, volcanic gases destroy the ozone layer and cause the most devastating extinction in our planet's existence. Only 50 million years later, a giant volcanic rift split the Earth, creating the Atlantic Ocean, but in doing so released a lethal wave of carbon dioxide, killing 80% of all life. Evolution had the next 135 million years to transform small amphibious creatures into the biggest reptiles to ever roam our planet. However, an asteroid the size of a small city crashed into present-day Mexico, rapidly wiping out nearly all the dinosaurs. 65 million years later, humans have taken over as the dominant species. Our ability to use tools has given rise to an industrial revolution and control over practically every natural environment. With agriculture and modern medicine, the human population has exploded from 1 billion in 1900 to 7.5 billion in 2016. It is because of our dominance and overconsumption that the sixth mass extinction is happening as we speak. Species today are dying out a thousand times faster than before humans existed. There's now more plastic in the ocean than fish. Approximately 15 billion trees are chopped down each year, and carbon dioxide levels have increased 25% in just the last 50 years. If we continue our destructive trend, scientists predict half of all living species could be extinct in the next 100 years. So what can you do? Compost, recycle, start an edible garden, eat less meat, walk or bike instead of drive, and do everything you can to reduce your footprint on this planet. Every one of us is part of this world, and so what we do or don't do has an impact on the world around us. We got ourselves into this mess, and now it's up to us to solve our way out. For more interesting videos like this one, please subscribe.